Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how to create a macro in Armory Crate. This is the ASUS software that manages ASUS devices so that, for instance, you can assign the macro to any of the keys of your ASUS devices. In the example I'm using, I'm using an ASUS ROG Pugio 2 mouse and I'm gonna create two macros. One macro is to switch the mouse from my right hand to my left hand and one other macro is to switch the mouse from my left hand to right hand. So this is because I use the mouse in my left hand when I work and when I play Fortnite, I use the mouse in my right hand. So let's start by launching Armory Crate and show you how to do this. So this is Armory Crate. So here on the left, you have devices. Click on devices. And here you have the devices that are ASUS devices and you have macros. So click on macros to create the macro. I'm gonna start by creating a macro that switches the mouse from my right hand to my left hand. So let's click on macros to create this macro. And this is the macro screen here in front of you. What I advise you to do first is to define the delay between the keys, otherwise the macro will be very long. So click on the settings button here and click on fix delay. And here let's put the delay 75 milliseconds and then click on OK. So this way, even if you're slow in recording your macro, when you run the macro, it will not be slow and you don't have to go into the macro afterwards and adjust the timing. And here for the macro name, I'm going to rename it. So let's rename it to left hand mouse. And then let's click on OK. And now we can start recording the keystrokes that will change the mouse from my right hand to my left hand. So always use the keyboard to record the macro and never use the mouse. Just before starting the recording, I wanted to tell you that the maximum actions you can record for a macro are 100 actions. So now to start the recording, click on record and on your keyboard, type in Windows S. So to open the search window and then type mouse space settings, hit enter. And here you notice that the primary mouse button is the first one selected. And this is always the case when you open the mouse settings. So type enter on the keyboard and then press the down arrow and then press enter once again and then Alt F4 to close it. And now you need to click on stop to stop the macro. And because we switched now the buttons of the mouse, you need to press the right mouse button to stop the macro. So now I'm going to switch the mouse to my left hand. So here are all the actions that were recorded. And now we need to click on save. Of course, now I'm using the mouse with my left hand. So I'm going to click on save. So now I'm going to record the macro to switch the mouse from my left hand to my right hand. And I'm going to do the same, but there's one thing that is different and I'm going to show it to you. So now let's go and click here and then we're going to select new. So click on create new and here let's name it also right hand mouse. So click on rename and then right hand mouse and then click on OK. And now click on record and then also Windows S to open the search and always mouse settings and hit enter and enter once again. And now the different thing between the left and the right is that you need to press the up arrow to select the left mouse button. So type on the up arrow and then type on enter and then Alt F4. And now you need to stop it. And of course now, because we switched the buttons, you need to use the left mouse button to stop the macro. And let's save it. And now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna assign the macros to these two buttons here on the left hand side of the mouse. So the first one will be to switch from my left hand to my right hand. And the second one will be to switch from my right hand to my left hand. So to assign the buttons, this is what you need to do. Click on the device and then click on Rock Put You To. And here you need to choose what buttons to use. So I'm going to click on left here to choose the left side of the mouse that is here. And then the first button here, instead of it being forward and this one backward for browsing, I'm going to assign the first one here to the right hand mouse macro and the bottom one here to the left hand mouse macro. So let's click on this one here. And now this is the action here. Let me scroll to show you. So here you need to select macro. And then you need to select the macro that you want to assign to this button. So here it is the right hand mouse. So now the right hand mouse button is assigned here. And now let's do the same for this button here. And let's assign the left hand mouse macro. 
and here it is left hand mouse so now the macros are assigned and you're gonna notice i'm gonna press this button here so it will switch from my right hand to my left hand and you're gonna see in front of you on the screen how it will happen and you notice now it's switched so if i switch it here you're gonna see that now the left hand mouse is the one that is working so now i'm gonna click this button here so as to switch from my left hand to my right hand and let's see if it works so yeah as you notice it is working perfectly what I want to show you now is a small troubleshooting tip in case it doesn't work. It means the timing is off. So this is how you can correct it. So go to macros here and let's say that the right hand mouse macro is not working. It means that the computer cannot keep up with this small timing here. So you have to adjust the timing. Let's say for instance that the computer after you open settings, it doesn't take the enter or it doesn't take the up arrow so you need to increase the timing to give the computer more time to do this and this is how you do it so let's say that we need to increase this one click on it and you have the delay here so just increase the delay so put it for instance on 0 0.1 instead of 0 0.075 so 0 0.1 and hit enter and here also the release increase it so put it also 0 0.1 and let's say also the up arrow it needs more timing so also put it 0 0.1 and also the release of the up arrow 0 0.1 so this way you give your computer more time to like perform these keystrokes so that it will work and this is trial and error so if 0 0.1 doesn't work try 0 0.2 it will end up working at the end after you make the changes click on save and there is something I don't like very much in this Armory Create software is that when you edit the macro, it will not be assigned anymore to the device. So let's go back to Rock Pooge 2 And this is something also that you should know about. So you see here, like it found that the macro was removed, even though only we edited the macro, we didn't change its name. So you need to reassign it. So click on OK. And then here, let's go and reassign it. It is here. You see it went back to mouse function. So let's click on macro and right hand mouse and that is it assigned i want to add also that this asus rock push you 2 mouse is really very good i've been using it since like about two months and you notice that i have added my customized logo here this is my youtube channel logo if you want to see how i added this logo take a look in the description i have made a video on this in case you want to check it out also, if you want to check out this Asus ROG Pujo 2 mouse, I'm going to leave an affiliate link in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you. And this will help my channel. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comments section below. And I'll be glad to answer all your questions and all your comments. I want to thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give it a thumbs up. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.